Hello and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Help. I'm your host Chucky. Now some of you may be going around on a mad dash trying to find that special gift for someone who seems to have everything. In my episode today I'd like to show you how to take a magazine cover and put your favorite loved one, your favorite arch nemesis, your favorite pet, whomever it is that you would want to have on that magazine cover. I'm going to show you how to do it in a few simple steps. Now let's go ahead and take a look at where I got some of the magazine covers. Now of course I like to use my favorite Google and that's because there is a specific section that allows you to look for images. So I typed in Time Magazine and I went over to Images and you can see that there are plenty of images to grab. Now the one reason why I picked this first one is just for the fact that the Time in the Time Magazine was not covered up. You'll notice that some of these, the Time Magazine is covered up, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But this group shot right here, the people's faces are in front of the letters, and right here, as we can tell, uh, the elephant is in front of the Time Magazine. So let me go ahead and minimize this, and let's go ahead and let's go back to Photoshop and let's get started. Now the first tool I'm going to use is the Magic Wand tool. The Magic Wand tool selects colors of similar uh, values and so normally the default is 32 and I've changed mine to 100 and I've just kept the default the anti-alias and the contiguous I'm not going to go into that right now but you can always look at some of my other videos to show you what's going on there but I'm just going to click the T and then I'm going to hold the shift key down which is the same on the PC and the Mac I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select all these red pieces of my magazine cover now the marching ants are there. If I just do a Command J or a Control J on the PC, you'll see over on the right hand bottom side right there on my layer, you can see that the Time Magazine, the red portions, jumped onto a new layer, everything that was in the, the marching ants. I can turn on and off my invisibility and you can see that that background information is no longer there. So if I wanted to do this, I could go ahead and double click on this and that would unlock my layer and then I could go ahead and I could trash this layer if I wanted to now so I can go ahead and trash that so now we have our time magazine the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my eyedropper tool and we need to select the red color just by clicking on anywhere that's red and you can see over in my color swatches that red is indeed my foreground color so let's go ahead and change the areas which used to have the date on them I'm gonna select my marquee tool and I'm just gonna drag it doesn't really matter how accurate you are I'm just gonna cover up that white space that used to be the date and I'm gonna select edit and fill that's the quickest way there and then just say OK and command D or control D gets rid of that so you can see that my time magazine is filled in we'll put the date back in later the next thing I need to do is I need to make a selection here of that corner part of the T which was not selected. I'm going to select Command J again and that's going to make another copy of that little area there. And then we go into the Edit, Transform, and then we're going to go to the very bottom there and we're going to flip this vertically. And hopefully this works and I'm going to use my Move tool. I'm going to grab this and it looks like I didn't flip that too well so uh, that was flipped vertically so I'm gonna have to flip it vertically again I seem to always get those mixed up so I'm gonna flip vertically again there's that one now I have to flip it horizontally transform this is a good lesson there for you flip horizontally and there we go now I can just take my move tool I can get it pretty close and then what I can do is, is my arrow keys on my keyboard and there we go now my time is fixed Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take my favorite character here. Uh, this is, would be Jim Carrey. Oh, no, that's the Grinch. We're going to grab, using our Move tool, we're going to grab this, and we're going to drag this onto our Time Magazine. You can see that, once again, it is on top. What we're going to do is we'll switch that in just a minute. I'm going to take my Command T, or my Control T, which is the free transform tool, I'm going to hold the shift key and what the shift key does is that gives it uh, makes it so that it does not get out of whack it keeps it in proportion and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of center that right here 
and then I'm going to hit the enter key. So what I've done is, is I've just kind of resized my little Grinch there and I've held the shift key down so that it doesn't get out of whack. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to drag it under my layer one there and you can see ooh, now uh, the Grinch is behind the Time magazine and what we can do now is we can go ahead and take our text tool up here and we can find kind of a correct size. Right now this is going to be a little bit big, but we can put December 27th, 1965. That's a great day, by the way. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to check the checkbox there saying it's okay. Now you notice that I did make a mistake and that is the fact that I didn't change the color, but that's okay. If I come down here and I double click on that, it will highlight the text for me and then I can just go find on my swatches, I can just go find a black right there, I'll just click a black and then hit the checkbox and uh, move this to the top so you can see it and there we go, December 27, 1965. Now it's a little bit big, we may want to scale that back down, I might want to double click on that and just use kind of a different smaller font there bring that down there and then I can always click the checkbox and then use the arrow keys and the move tool to move this around and put that down there now there's the date we can also put the issue number down there as well but the next thing that we're going to do is show you how to take the text tool be a little creative and go down here and we're gonna put the next president and then a question mark and we can come down over here we can double click on that baby and we can make it a little that part a little bit bigger maybe 24 point and we can change it maybe something a little bit more bold right there and then we can also use the move tool and move this around maybe down here you can have a little bit of fun with that but the idea is is to make sure that your text is on top these two text layers are on top there make sure that the time or whatever it is that you're going to use is right here on this layer right here and then go ahead and have our image on the back of the layer now the one thing that I could have done and if you want to do this you can trace around this right here you can trace around his head right there and if you wanted to you could put that on top of the Time magazine right there and what it would do is it would put his face a little bit in front of the time like they've done on the internet you've seen some of the other ones that I showed you the people's faces are a little bit in front of with those types of pictures though you just have to make sure that you do not go over this red piece right here so there you have it the magazine cover for the person that has everything so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave you now so that you can go out and find some fun magazine covers and some fun pictures and put those together for that favorite someone I will catch you later this is Chucky saying goodbye